Hello. Namaste. I have been getting lots of messages from clients and friends about issues and um, I just realized that I should do a channeling and give you some guidance and some tools to help you navigate through this time because this super full moon is affecting many people and the the few days before the full moon on the 27th of April and a few days another three four days after the full moon it's still working through us it's still affecting us deeply and what most people are feeling is the base chakra is being triggered what this means is that uh, your physical body can start to ache you can have pain in the joints in the muscles in the glands in the tissues in the cells um, you could have old injuries that start flaring up and have inflammation. You could experience anything to do with money, food, relationships, anything to do with this physical world. And so, yeah, it's just really important to recognize um, what's going on, how you're feeling, how it's coming up for you, and then to process it and to give yourself the space to, to heal, to let it move through. And it's been coming up really, really strong. So if you have been feeling very emotional, um, very triggered, uh, feeling unsupported, not heard, not understood, that just life here in this physical realm is challenging, then you are being affected by the full moon. And I'm going to give you some tools to help you navigate and work your way through this. And the first thing is to journal, to actually write it out. Write out everything that you've been feeling, experiencing. Let it all out. As you write it, you're gonna start releasing it. And it might get a little bit more intense. It might become like a pressure buildup and then explosion and a release. That's okay, that's part of the healing. Just to hold space and be gentle and loving and kind and be a bit more kind to yourself. Give yourself that space that you need in order to process all of this that's coming up. And it can be stuff that's old, that from when you were a teenager, when you were a child, old memories coming up. So it's all stuff from when you were younger, it's things where you're feeling unsupported or disconnected or emotional or triggered by things that are not working out for you here on earth. And Journaling is the way to get it out, write it all out. And another way is to just sit with it, to observe what's coming up for you and notice that where, is, where do you feel it? Where do you feel it physically in the body? Do you feel any sensations in the body? And to allow yourself to really feel it, to cry it out. Maybe you need to shout it out, scream it out, sing it out. Just get it out, shake it out, move it out of the body. Don't hold onto it because it's going to become a blockage which can cause disease or illness or discomfort. So make sure that you hold space, give yourself time to release all of this. And then my third tool to work with this, this intensity is to make sure that you spend less time around people and more time by yourself because being with others is going to cause overload overstimulation too much because you're going to pick up what everyone else is going through and we are all being affected by this moon so take time for you alone time and if you can go out be in nature because the plants are medicine they heal you they're here to support you and love you and mother earth is here to nourish and support us so go outside be in nature and have a lot of alone time to help you to move through this and I also want to channel a message, channel some guidance through for us all now. So just take a moment if you want to close your eyes and connect with the energy that's coming through from Spirit. As you walk this path on earth, know that you are being held and supported by the earth. The electromagnetic aura of the earth helps to deflect many of the frequency and waves that are coming in from the moon and the sun and solar flares and different frequencies and shifts and changes that are taking place with other planets 
and in the universe and cosmos. Know that earth is holding and supporting you and protecting you so that you are not absorbing all of the frequencies that can cause you to go into a state of disharmony. So take time to recognize the positive, the amount of support that you do have. During this time, your mind may be going into a state of negativity and only seeing or experiencing all the bad things that are coming through to you. But there is so much good and there is so much support and there is so much that is not able to get through to you because you are supported, you are loved and you are held by Mother Earth. She is holding you in a cocoon of love and light and she is making sure that only the things that you can handle are coming through to you. Take this time as an opportunity to let go and release. There may be things that you were not even aware of that you were still holding on to. This is your time to let it all go. You do not need to hold on to this excess energy as baggage that might be held as knots within the shoulders, as tension within the stomach lining. Let it all go as it comes up and surrender it to Mother Earth. She will take care of you. She will carry it. As you con connect with her and as you feel all this energy coming up, bubbling up, boiling up and over, send it into the earth. Send it out to her and know that she will clear it, release it and bring you back to a state of harmony and balance. You have another day or two of moving through all these shifts, cleansing your energy. And as you come out the other side, know that you will be lighter, that you will feel more connected to your soul, and that you have undergone once again another beautiful experience of healing, growing, and releasing. Remember equanimity. Remember to always stay in your center and observe it. Observe the sensations that you feel in your body. Do not judge them as good or bad or right or wrong or pain as intense and horrible and repel it or excitement and joy as wonderful and want more of it. Just stay in the center observing it and know that absolutely everything on earth passes. Nothing remains the same. This too shall pass. So observe, give it the space it needs, just watch it without judgment, and it till it too shall pass. So that's the message for us all during these times. Maybe you want to listen to it again, or maybe you've absorbed exactly the message that you've needed to. With love and light, Namaste.